All right, so I'm sure by the time you guys are watching this, you guys already know what happened. Uh, we obviously didn't come out on top with the whole uh, 2023 World Championship, which is very unfortunate, and there's actually a bunch of reasons as to why that is. And there's also a lot of things that happened, one of which included us losing a godlike, which uh, is actually the number one Indian team. I personally didn't expect that to happen, but it happened. I can't control the future. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to be going into some stuff that happened during the event and where my future is going to be with COD Mobile. Yeah, we lost. And I'm not going to lie, it is kind of a weird feeling, uh, only because of the fact that I'm not trying to sound like a freak, but I never really experienced the actual feeling of losing. I'm not trying to sound egotistical. I'm not trying to sound cocky. Uh, it's just what it is. Uh, even when I did start my actual competitive years for this game, which is 18 plus and onwards, um, I was already in a team which was obviously Tribe, and that team did not lose a single tournament, they didn't really lose that many scrims, they didn't really lose that many majors, and even going into the stage uh, 5 championship in 2022, we ended up winning it all, which um, obviously led us to winning the $2 million tournament, and led us to getting a ring, which you guys do not have, to all of you Indian fans under the comments. I'm going to throw a lot of jokes in, so if you guys are soft, just know that they're just jokes. But maybe I mean it, you never know. But um, yeah, going into 2023, we obviously formed the Luminosity Gaming roster. We obviously left Bolu and Jez, and it became a team with myself, Tech, Marshy, Band, Envy, and Washi, alongside with the help of Clout and Hippo. And it was actually the super team of North America. I'm not going to lie. I do genuinely think that we should have won the championship. But uh, Godlike wanted more. And huge shout out to them for winning. Uh, well, not winning the entire thing. Wolves won the entire thing. They were on a streak. Wolves are absolutely insane in SD. I definitely have to improve my SD gameplay after seeing what they did. And after not losing anything, even like this year. Uh, we didn't lose that many scrims. We won every single event in North America. We even won the Stage 4 Major. So going into the World Championship, we were pretty confident. And then we got, you know, we obviously lost and, you know, got third slash fourth place, which wasn't really the outcome that we wanted. Uh, it was pretty sad. Um, I got a bunch of sh** for it, I'd say. And I guess I kind of deserve it because of the comment I made last year after we won it all. And I was quote unquote, West is best and East is ass. There you go. But um, I meant that too. I'm not going to lie. Because last year, you guys were actually pretty bad. Uh, but this year, you guys obviously changed the tides. Did a bunch of work. More work than any other team, I'd say, besides the Chinese team. And with the amount of work you guys put in, you guys probably did deserve it. You guys just wanted it more than us, it seemed like. So, like I said, one more round of applause for Godlike for that. But that doesn't mean that this is where it all ends. Um, just because we lost, I'm not going to be quitting. It actually kind of gives me a bigger reason to keep pushing myself and keep pushing myself with my team to um, <coughs> win it again. So we're going to be making some changes with the roster. Uh, there's some stuff that's going to be happening. It's unfortunate that, you know, we, we got out the way we did, especially in that last game when it was 0-7. Oh yeah, but uh, one quick thing before we do continue on. Um, I know a bunch of you guys are going to be saying a bunch of in the comments. Um, I think you guys think that I care, but I promise you and I swear to God that I genuinely do not give a as to what you guys say in the comments. It doesn't affect me. I don't really get affected by stuff. I personally find that stuff to be funny, which is why I'm still trolling the way I am on Twitter and making the posts I am. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it, but I've been like putting up a bunch of pictures and stuff. Maybe I'll pop them up in the screen right now. Um, in my opinion, they're pretty funny. You guys are also making me a pretty good bag from the, the Twitter uh, impression bullshit. Uh, this doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be quitting Kadam. We're definitely going to prepare a lot harder for the Brazil event. And if you guys are unaware, the Brazil event is going to be in like three, four months. Although the prize pool isn't that high compared to stage five. It's still more so a pride and ego thing because if we win that, we kind of reclaim our title as being like one of the best. So you have like China, like the best Chinese team going there. I think it was Q9 or Wolves. I'm not sure. And by the likes of it, Godlike should be going there. Uh, if Godlike loses to Vitality, then I guess we're living in an alternate universe. So Godlike should be expected to go there. Uh, Galories and Inko Loops, uh, two of them. I think only two Latin teams go there. 
and then there's the European teams and two NA teams. So hopefully we come out on top. I personally don't even know if we're the team that's like going there as of right now because we still have to play the qualification in January 11th, I believe it is. So I'm not going to go up my high horses, but I am pretty confident that with the new changes, we will get a spot for the Brazil event and we'll, you know, try to reclaim the title, as I mentioned, of being like the best team in, in the game. And then on top of that, hopefully, and, and I hope this is like, this is my dream right now. I hope we get the rematch um, against Godlike because that would be like a really big game changer. And one other thing, speaking of Godlike, I feel like I am getting a lot of shit, but I feel like no egotistical shit. I do think that me being like the quote unquote villain of the story hyped up the event by miles you guys may agree with it you guys might not agree with it you guys can disagree whatever but i genuinely think that if i did not play the role that i did and if i did not say and i quote west is best and east is ass the cod m hype and the overall event would not be as good as it was you guys can call me crazy you guys can call me whatever but that is my genuine opinion and on top of that i actually do have a lot of people siding with me on that so uh, yeah, that's one thing. And then the other thing, um, after Brazil, you obviously have uh, the 2024 World Championship. Hopefully the day comes where we qualify for that. We, we, we prepare for that. And then hopefully we also get yet again another uh, like Luminosity Gaming or Tribe or whatever org we're in versus Godlike series again. Because I'm not going to lie, that is definitely going to break a lot of records, if not a bunch of viewership um, it might even break Ferg's Dr. Disrespect and uh, Ferg 1v1 thing that they did a long time ago. But um, yeah, you never know. Everything aside, that was basically like what I wanted to talk about. There's obviously a bunch of other side stuff that happened in the background. But uh, there's no excuses. We lost fair and square. Uh, they just wanted it more. Congratulations to them once again. And I know you guys are also questioning if I'm going to stop, you know, trolling and being an asshole and all that. But I promise you guys, I'm probably going to keep trolling. I'm probably still gonna say the shit I say uh, when it comes down to like talking about certain regions or uh, certain teams or certain players. So yeah, that's not gonna stop. Um, I really don't know where my thoughts are right now because I keep rambling. I didn't script this. I didn't write like certain key points to hit. This is more so like a raw take of my overall opinion on everything that happened. So um, I think that's a lot of the stuff that I wanted to say. Um, I know I'm gonna get a bunch of for this video but you guys will also improve my views and my sub count maybe not my sub count maybe some of you guys will unsubscribe but you guys will definitely improve my views for a while oh and one more thing we actually managed to start trending on twitter for two days which is absolutely crazy i i was pretty happy about that only because i didn't realize how much of a difference it, it made in the indian scene of me saying what i said last year so that was pretty sick and uh on top of that um, the impressions I've been getting is super, is super good. Um, so yeah, thank you again for that. But yeah, um, unfortunately, like I said, going back to what I said, um, so sorry to all the fans and everybody else that supported us and wanted us to win the whole thing. Um, we, we, we wish things could have been different, but I can't go back in time and change it. I can't go back in time and make or fix the mistakes that we made. <laughs> My bad. A bunch of us got sick from the event. So, um, my voice is kind of like this. So no, before you guys assume that I'm crying, <clears throat> I'm not. It's just that a bunch of people got sick. It's better than COVID spreading like it did last year. Um, one of the players had COVID last year and they spread it around. But I don't think this year anybody had COVID. God forbid that anybody had COVID and spread it around. I already did a test. I'm negative. But my voice is still not there, which is why I'm coughing sometimes. But yeah, um, with all that being said, GG's to every single team. Hopefully, we can reclaim that title of being the best team like we once were. Um, be excited for the changes that we're going to be making. I genuinely feel very comfortable and very happy about the changes we're going to make. Um, hopefully, it changes a lot of things, especially in the NA scene because of the fact that, I'm not going to lie, the way that we played and the placement that we got as a North American team was kind of embarrassing. I personally am not happy about it. I know a lot of players in the NA scene aren't happy about it. So, um... Hopefully we show a great showing in the Brazil event, specifically in Sao Paulo. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen like January 12th to 14th. So I hope to see, uh, see you guys there. I love each and every single one of you guys, even all of you guys from India. 
um you guys make my day especially with the stuff that you guys have been sending and all the memes and shit. i promise you it doesn't affect me so if you guys want to keep sending them give me a good laugh you guys can uh you guys are super supportive though like i give you guys props for how supportive and loyal you guys are to your region uh 100 props for that so uh keep doing you guys um and uh without or without further ado uh you guys have a good day uh be on the lookout for more uh videos and streams i'd say i know i was yapping the entire time but i was just trying to collect all my thoughts and put it into like one video without making it too long so uh yeah uh hope you guys have a good night day whatever you guys or whatever time you guys are watching this and I